I know many of you are actually working from home very much just like me and are looking to maybe skill it up, you know, learn a new skill, do some certifications perhaps. So today, specifically, I'm going to be sharing about the vSAN Master Specialist course and also the vSAN Specialist badge and how you can potentially pass those exams. Before I jump into discussing uh, about certifications today, if you do like the content, do click on subscribe. And I've also conveniently linked um, the timelines for all those uh, sections that you want to kind of quickly jump into. So let's dive straight into it. So for a while now, obviously VMware have been offering various types of certification and more recent time, we have the vSAN certification or vSAN Specialist Badge. So you might be wondering, what the heck is a vSAN Specialist Badge? So the vSAN Specialist Badge, like the name suggests, is a badge that is specifically there to test the competency in the areas of vSAN. It is very, very similar to your VMware Certified Professional, which is a VCP that we all know uh, and love. So. Yeah, it's more targeted specifically for vSAN. So the vSAN Specialist Badge has a year tied to it. So you may be a vSAN Specialist of 2017 and then go 2018 and so on and so forth. You can, if you want, to choose to renew it on a, daily, a yearly basis. But if you so choose to not do that, that's fine as well. I'm in the personal opinion, you can do an N-1, N-2, and it's still pretty much relevant to what you are doing. In the more recent time, we also released the vSAN Master Specialist Badge. This is, like its name suggests, you know, a little bit more advanced, a little bit more complex uh, surrounding the design, implementation, as well as troubleshooting. Now that you have a little bit of an idea of what those exams are, let's jump deeper into each and every one of those exam and see what it actually takes to pass him. I'll give you a little bit of tricks and pointers where you should be studying, where you should be focusing on uh, with regards to these exams as well. So with the visa and specialist exam, uh, the prerequisite for this exam is actually the VCP. So you can actually go take the visa and specialist badge exam just by its own without doing the VCP, but they will not award you the badge. They will just make a note and say, hey, you passed it. But so it is very, very recommended that you actually go take the exam beforehand. Having said that, assuming that you've already done the exam, great. The next step is fairly straightforward. Uh, in my opinion, the vSAN Specialist Badge is probably one of the easiest exams that you know we have in that uh, education portfolio. If you read the official documentation, it does say it you know you should be having about six to twelve months uh, messing around with vSAN as much as possible. But in my opinion, if you have at least three months or maybe a couple of months just playing with it on a day-to-day -day basis, you should be able to get past this exam fairly easily. I'm not going to go through the details as to what are the sections that are going to be covered in this exam. You can actually get those from the exam prep website. But what I'm going to share with you, what is the little, little intricacies and stuff that you probably need to focus a little bit on. I'm going to keep this very, very short. Here's the tip. Okay, I've left the links down below in the description. So there's a whole series of vSAN 101 uh, tutorials and lightboard sessions that VMware has put out. If you go through that entire list, I can pretty much guarantee you that you will pass this exam. It's as simple as that. And one of the key things about this exam is to understand the maximums of what vSAN can do and also the features and functions. So what do I mean by maximums? So discussions around um, how many disk groups and how many disks can you have in the particular disk groups and stuff like that. And if the dupe compression is a capability you can enable and you know health checks and stuff like that. If you understand those concepts, this exam is a breeze. And here's one more tip. If you are an existing VMware customer or VMware partner for that matter, if you can get hold of a VMware employee, ask them if they could share with you the standard presentation deck for vSAN to customers. That deck has pretty much every single detail of function and maximums that is very, very useful for preparing for this particular exam. So now let's look at the VMware Master Specialist for HCI certification. I was extremely excited for this particular paper. So when it just got launched, you know, I pretty much just signed up immediately and went for it. So when I took the exam, I was literally very, very shocked. I, I mean, I assumed that it was going to be 
tougher concepts on vSAM, which it was actually. Um, but what I didn't realize and obviously was ill prepared for was the fact that it actually contains a lot of information and a lot of exam questions around the complementing solutions that work together very tightly with vSAN. So for example, things like how VR ops work with vSAN. I um, mean, obviously it included cloud native apps as well. So how do you provision containers using vSAN? Um, there was also questions around vSphere replication and a bit of SRM. So I will highly, highly recommend that you could check out the exam prep document. It's important that you check out the exam prep document because um, after I finished the exam and I came out, I immediately flipped. Maybe I should have just read it beforehand. So there was also a whole bunch of um, troubleshooting questions that you don't often see unless you have actually used the product a whole lot. Uh, in this particular exam, I would truly recommend you to be very, very proficient with vSAN. Have a go at it, you know, in the labs and set it up, tear it down and go through all kinds of scenarios. The easiest way to kind of churn out some of these errors is to fail it in a bad way and, you know, kind of just walk through those errors, Google it, etc, etc. So for this particular one, I really, really believe experience counts for a lot. It doesn't mean that you can't try for it. I mean, you can definitely try for it, but I'll just warn you ahead of time. It's actually a fairly challenging exam. So having said that, my top tip for this particular exam in order to pass it, short of you know playing with it on a day-to-day -day basis, is actually, again, if you can get hold of somebody from VMware to share with you the technical deep dive deck for this particular exam, or no, not so much this particular exam, but for vSAN specifically, this will help you heaps because whatever that's in that deep dive document, or if you have ever actually seen that deep dive document uh, or actually sent in a presentation of that, you will get a lot of the materials that is required to pass this particular exam. And don't forget, you also need to kind of read up and understand vSphere replication, uh, SRM, a little bit of VR ops and cloud native apps. So as you can see, it's there is really not much to these two exams. Of course, it involves, as always, with certifications, there's a bit of prep work, but you know, get the right resources, you're almost halfway there. Hopefully that's been very helpful for you guys. Uh, I know it's not much, I didn't give, exactly give you a brain dump, but hopefully I've kind of pointed you in the right direction for information. And as always, I'm also offering my help. If you want help with regards to you know the exam or the certification, any questions specific to vSAN, do drop me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.